Hi, my name is Caitlin Martin and I am on the marketing team at Ubico. Today I'd like to introduce you to Libby Brown, Senior Program Manager for Microsoft on the Cloud Authenticator team. Libby, I'm going to ask you a couple questions today. Can you tell us how long you've been working with Ubico? My gosh, uh, it's been a long time. I think I first had an engagement uh, with a Ubico representative in 2017 when I first started working on Microsoft's passwordless story. At the time, we were just entering into uh, this new world of FIDO authentication and uh, working with some of the, the team who was doing the implementation and Ubico already had its strong presence on the FIDO board and those early standards and that partnership early days was so important to where we are today with our FIDO implementation and Microsoft. That's awesome. How are you working with Ubico to help Microsoft customers? Our customers really now are getting the message that they need to move towards a more zero trust posture, which is making sure they've enabled everyone with MFA, they're registering trusted devices, they're securing their apps behind conditional access to require that next level of authentication. And it really has been the capabilities of the Ubico hardware has helped a lot of our customers move to that positioning. The fact that the key supports multiple protocols means that a customer can buy one piece of hardware and they can do software oath, they can move ahead to uh, FIDO2 protocols and do uh, fish resistant FIDO authentication. We're now starting to see more and more customers start to require using certificate based authentication and they can take advantage of the YubiKey to do that as well. All of those capabilities really mean that our customers can get to a more secure posture with just that one additional authenticator. In Azure Active Directory, some of our largest FIDO2 security key deployments are with YubiKeys. Uh, I work often with those customers to learn how they're doing, what's going right, what's going wrong. And most of the time there is a Yubico account manager beside me also giving us that feedback, helping us with that, with those challenges, describing the implementations. It really is a side-by-side, hand-in-hand partnership. How has the work we've done together help customers stay more secure? Some of our largest customers that have actively deployed uh, FIDO2 security keys are in fact using Ubico products. When I go and talk to those customers, it is often with a Ubico account manager in the room. We have worked hand in hand with Ubico with some of these customers to do those deployments, whether it's just you know verifying the solutions, uh, handling any technical hurdles that may crop up, um, but it really has been a true partnership to get our largest customers into that more secure posture through YubiKeys and working with the Ubico team. Can you discuss the work Microsoft and Ubico are doing to enable FIDO and CBA to meet the EO mandate? Right. So. Last year, the Biden administration issued an executive order to help drive the security of our U.S. government agencies uh, towards a zero trust posture as well. It's going to just change the industry in terms of making sure that our government systems are as secure as we need them to be as well. Most government agencies do certificate based authentication and are familiar with that, um, but we are seeing a lot of interest in wanting to move towards the FIDO2 authentication as well. Um, YubiKeys do have that multi protocol support, so we are working hand in hand with Yubico Engineering to make sure that our customers can put both certificate and a FIDO credential on that one key and use it across all their devices, whether it's a Windows device, Mac, iOS, Android. We fully expect that to be supported uh, with Yubico hardware. It's so exciting to hear how far we've come. Thank you, Libby, for your time today and thank you for your partnership with Ubico. Thank you.